What is critical for social innovation is something that I call as bias. Yes, you need to be biased towards innovation. Whatever you want to do, you need to know that I need to innovate. You always need to have that in mind that is there something that I'm doing which will fall under the category of innovation? And to put it on record, all our jugards in India have been one form of innovation, whatever people may say. But yes, that is what defines necessity is the mother of innovation. And Jugaad is one of the best innovation that India has seen. But what we could not do is something that I'm going to teach right now. And I call it the bias model. So what is the bias model? The bias model is basically made up of B that is benefit. So I always give this uh, statistics. In villages of Maharashtra, there is a penetration of nearly 78% mobile phones in rural areas. And this is only smartphones. Feature phones, which are those small phones, are nearly to the tune of 94%. 98% penetration of cable TV. 60% of rural India owns motorbikes today. And yes, still, there are only 18% women who use sanitary pads. Of course, there are reasons for it, but practically, you need to understand the reasons for why all the other things like mobile phones and cable TV were not necessary to be sold to rural India because people out there saw some benefit. So is there a benefit? Is there value that people will see out of that product, that process, that project? And if there is benefit, people will definitely adopt. And that's the A. So what is the I? I is extremely, extremely important. It's the impact. In any format of social change, of public good, of public welfare, or for that matter, for social enterprises, it is critical that you look at what is called as impact. What is it revolutionizing? What is it that they are changing? And what exactly is not the result? It's not the input. It's the outcome, not even the output. It is the outcome. So what is the change that I will see in the people, in the lives of people, in the commercials of the people, in the living standards of the people? That is the impact. It's only if we, if we see the benefit, there will be an impact. And if there is an impact, you can be rest assured that there will be adoption. But it is not these three things which primarily drive innovation. Innovation is also driven by this most important thing that starts with S, which is scale. Can the idea scale? And if your idea can scale, be rest assured that it's going to be sustainable. 
It is between this that social innovation lies. So if you want to innovate, it is critical for any project, for any project idea, for any idea of an enterprise or for a product idea to understand the benefit that it offers to people, the impact that it will create in the society at large, at the community at large, the adoption technique. Will there be a behavioral change? Would you have to run a campaign to ensure that adoption happens of this product? Will there be a huge time lapse in this adoption? And will it scale? Because ultimately, if you have a product where innovation sits, it needs to sustain the test of times and the test of people and the test of demography. And that is the reason why social innovation is critical and so is bias. You need to be biased towards innovating.